Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My dear students and audience, in this video we will study various methods of estimating breeding values and their accuracies in animal breeding. Animal breeding is based on selection and selection is based on genetics which is typically called EBV estimated breeding values. As true breeding values are never known so we try to estimate breeding values which is the value of animal as a genetic parent. So estimated breeding value is the value of an animal as a genetic parent for example, if sire A has breeding value of 16 kg for weaning weight, dam A has breeding value plus 6 for weaning weight, and we know that sire contributes a half to its progeny, which is plus 8, and dam contributes a half, which is plus 3, so their progeny will wean 8 plus 3, 11 kg heavier than population. What information is required for calculating EBVs? We typically need at least one of the following information, pedigree, animal zone performance, is progeny, or more recently we need SNP chip genotype or marker information. <clears throat> Some words on accuracy of EBV. Accuracy is defined as correlation between true and predicted breeding values. And accuracy of EBVs is generally based on the heritability of the trait and number of records available on animal or project. So methods of estimating EBVs. Uh, here is a general equation which is ai hat which is predicted or estimated breeding value is equal to b y i minus mu where ai hat is ebv of animal i for a single trait for example milk yield a hat is for prediction b is regression of true breeding value on phenotypic performance Yi is performance of animal I and mu is herd mean or overall average performance of animals in the same management group. So our first method is using single record. We have an animal and it has a single re performance record. So formula is same. Ai hat is B Yi minus mu. Here B is equal to heritability of the trait and accuracy is simply square of B, which is H. We can solve a single ex simple example for method one. For example, yearling weight of a heifer is 320 kilograms and herd average is 270. Predict her breeding value if heritability of yearling weight is 0.4. We, we know heifer performance, we know herd average, we know heritability so we can estimate breeding value ai hat is equal to heritability into yi minus mu and solving this becomes 31 plus 31.5 kilograms and its accuracy is square root of heritability which is 0.67 and our prediction is 67 percent accurate Second method, if we have more than one record, multiple measurements of the same trait are recorded on an animal, then what we will do, we will simply take mean of n records on animal i. So whatever measurements we have, we will take their average and we will put in here. And b in this case is nh square divided by 1, by plus, 1 plus n minus 1 into t where T is repeatability of the trait and H is heritability. So accuracy will again be uh, square root of B. 
let's solve a little example a cow has mean milk yield from lactation one and two as eight thousand kilograms herd average is six thousand kilograms for lactation one and two predict on breeding value of heritability is 0.3 and repeatability is 0.5 so again ai is byi bar minus mu so if you calculate put all values in b's formula it is 0.4 and EBV is plus 800 kilograms and accuracy of square root of B is 63.63 third method is very well known in dairy cattle industry we use progeny records to predict breeding value of a bull suppose we have records on daughters of a bull for a trait and usually bull does not have any record on milk yield so what we will do is we will predict bulls breeding value on the base of daughter's performance so here why i bar has a different meaning it is mean of n progeny of sire i for a trait so we will take average of all the daughters of this bull and we will minus it from the population average for the same trait and b in this case is different b is equal to 2n over n plus k where n is number of daughters of a sire and k is 4 minus h square of h square so h square is heritability and accuracy would be n over n plus k square root of n over n plus k suppose we have average fat yield of 25 daughters of a bull as 50 kilograms in lactation herd average is 200 predict bull ebv for fat yield if heritability of same is 0.3 so again here b we need to estimate b and b is 1.34 and y i bar is 250 minus 200 and ebv is plus 67 kilograms and accuracy is square root of n over n plus k which is 1.3 it is 82 percent accuracy of this ebv is 82 percent and um, suppose we are interested in estimating the future performance of daughter of this bull so what we will do y hat is future performance point a half of ebv of bull plus herd mean so a half is 33.5 and plus herd average is 200 so this bull's daughter will have an ebv of 233.5 kilograms for that g method four is using pedigree record in this case we have no record on animal is available ebv of is our sire and dam are available for a trait under consideration so in this case uh, ebv would be a hat a zero hat is a o hat is our breeding value of offspring which is equal to breeding value of sire plus breeding value of dam divided by two and its accuracy would be a half of square root of accuracy of sire squared e sire ebv squared plus accuracy of dam ebv squared let's do a simple example here ebv of sire and dam of a of 180 and 170 for yearling body weight accuracies are 0 0.97 and 0 0.77 predict her ebv for yearling weight and accuracy so we simply put these values here and divide it by two it is plus one two five kilograms and accuracy is again 62 percent so now you know how to estimate heritability take home messages uh, uh, you know how to estimate uh, ebv uh, take home messages ebv is additive genetic worth of an animal for EBV, first we need to estimate heritability of the trait in that population. Then we can estimate breeding value of animals in that population and their accuracies. Plus, EBV means animal has potential to produce progeny with above average performance. Minus EBV means animal has the potential to produce progeny with below average performance. And zero EBV means it is equal to uh, population average. Uh, I would like to acknowledge Marud RA 2005 linear models for prediction of animal breeding values. I have taken a lot of material from this book and I acknowledge McGill University Canada for providing me electronic version of this book.
thank you very much for your attention if you have any question please contact